Implementing analytic solutions using Microsoft Fabric DP600 exam dumps are valuable for you to pass. Share some Microsoft Certification DP600 exam dumps here. 1. You have a Fabric tenant that contains a machine learning model registered in a Fabric workspace. You need to use the model to generate predictions by using the predict function in a Fabric notebook. Which two languages can you use to perform model scoring? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct answer is worth one point. A. T. SQL. B. DAX EC. C. Spark SQL. D. PySpark. 2. You have a fabric tenant that contains a Microsoft Power BL report named Report 1. Report 1 includes a Python visual. Data displayed by the visual is grouped automatically and duplicate rows are not displayed. You need all rows to appear in the visual. What should you do? A. Reference the columns in the Python code by index. B. Modify the sort column by property for all columns. C. Add a unique field to each row. D. Modify the summarize by property for all columns. 3. You have a fabric tenant named Tenant1 that contains a workspace named WS1. WS1 uses a capacity named C1 and contains a docet named DS1. You need to ensure read-write access to DS1 is available by using the XMLA endpoint. What should be modified first? A. The DS1 settings. B. The WS1 settings. C. The C1 settings. D. The tenant 1 settings. 4. You are creating a semantic model in Microsoft Power BL Desktop. You plan to make bulk changes to the model by using the tabular model definition language. TMDL, extension for Microsoft Visual Studio Code. You need to save the semantic model to a file. Which file format should you use? A. PBIP. B P B I X C P B I T D P B I D S 5. You have a fabric tenant that uses a Microsoft Tower BL premium capacity. You need to enable scale out for a semantic model. What should you do first? A. At the semantic model level, set large dataset storage format to off. B. At the tenant level, set create and use metrics to enabled. C. At the semantic model level, set large dataset storage format to on. D. At the tenant level, set data activator to enabled. 6. You have a fabric tenant that contains a warehouse. The warehouse uses row-level security, RLS. You create a direct lake semantic model that uses the delta tables and RLS of the warehouse. When users interact with a report built from the model, which mode will be used by the DAX queries? A. Direct query. B. Dual. C. Direct lake. D. Import. 7. You have a fabric tenant that contains a complex semantic model. The model is based on a star schema and contains many tables, including a fact table named sales. You need to create a diagram of the model. The diagram must contain only the sales table and related tables. What should you use from Microsoft Power BL Desktop? A. Data Categories B. Data view. C. Model view. D. DAX query view. 8. You have a fabric tenant that contains a semantic model. 
You need to prevent report creators from populating visuals by using implicit measures. What are two tools that you can use to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct answer is worth one point. A. Microsoft Power by Desktop B. Tabular Editor C. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio SSMS D. DAX Studio 9. You have a fabric tenant that contains a lake house named Lake House 1. Lake House 1 contains a subfolder named Subfolder 1 that contains CSV files. You need to convert the CSV files into the Delta format that has V order optimization enabled. What should you do from Lake House Explorer? A. Use the Load to Tables feature. B. Create a new shortcut in the Files section. C. Create a new shortcut in the Tables section. D. Use the Optimize feature. 10. You have a fabric tenant that contains a warehouse. Several times a day, the performance of all warehouse queries degrades. You suspect that fabric is throttling the compute used by the warehouse. What should you use to identify whether throttling is occurring? A. The capacity settings. B. The monitoring hub. C. Dynamic Management Views, DMVs D. The Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics App